so there is trinomial factoring that doesn't exactly look like trinomial factoring, but you're going to see that it really it is trinomial factoring. And so here comes the expression x to the exponent 4 minus 7x squared plus 12. OK. Um, this will actually factor as a trinomial. And it's really something squared and something. It's just that it's x squared squared. So if we wanted to factor this using the box, make sure that it's going to decompose the way we want. x to the fourth goes in there. A 12 goes in there. And so this might be an x squared, and that might be an x squared. In all likelihood, it is. Now, I need something that multiplies to 12. I need two numbers that multiply to 12. And so I'm going to try 3, and I'm going to try 4. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to try something else. OK, so this becomes 3x squared, and this becomes 4x squared. And so if I added this entire expression together, I would get x to the exponent 4 plus 7x squared plus 12. And I see that I need a minus 7x squared, so I just have to tweak this with negative signs. And so I can actually see that this is x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 3. Now, if I'm really doing my homework, I know that x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares. And so I can factor that one more time to x minus 2, x plus 2, x squared minus 3. And so that would be the expression completely factored.